A big hello to all of you, our lovers. Since Halloween is just around the corner, we're about to teach you how to draw a spooky jack-o'-lantern in just a few easy steps. Subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to always stay tuned for the latest of our videos. All right then, let's get right to it. First of all, we go to Sketch Desk and we select a blank canvas. We will start generating a new drawing layer, selecting this orange color that I already prepared, and then using basic shapes to do the head. First of all, we will, uh, we will center and we will use the pencil to do a stamp here, and then we will move it a bit, we'll drag the color in, and we will do the second stamp. I will select a darker orange and do a new drawing layer on top of it to do the silhouette of this pumpkin. Here, here, and then we will make the shape more interesting by adding more lines here, one and two, and like here, one and here, like this, nice. Then we will go again to the layer above and we will select again the color we were using before to finish the shapes as it if it was a regular pumpkin like this yes well in this case this part um, won't be seen so it's fine then we will do a new drawing layer on top and we will select a darker tone like this and again we will use the uh, basic forms to do circle shapes one here stamp and drag the color in we move the second eye and drag the color then we will use again this shape to do the smile, big smile. In this case, we won't stamp, but use the shape to and uh, do the line. And we will take another shape. You have many, many different shapes. Around here, we'll use the oval shape. In this case, and we'll do something like this to finish the smile, a big smile, a bit scary. And then we will drag the color in. I will add a small nose, a small cute nose with this uh, triangle shape. You can also use uh, basic, basic shapes, but I want it to be a bit irregular to do it cuter and just now, using the eraser and again the basic shapes, we will add the pupil of the eye, like here. Let's see. And now we'll go to the second eye and we'll stamp. This is a big smaller so we will stamp it bigger like this let's see yeah more or less and now we will erase the part from inside like this i like it now we will do two teeth in the upper part a bit bigger like this 
whenever you want to go backwards, you have to click on the screen with two fingers. And here, another teeth, the down. Perfect. Now, what we will do is use the Log Alpha tool. We will select this layer right here and we will put some shadows and lights. First, we will start with the lights around the center, like this. And some more lights here. And now the shadows on the bottom, the upper part, like this. And with the lines, just to make it more um, deep in these parts, like this. And now to make everything feel like more together, we'll take again the first color and we, were, we will put it around, like this. Yes, perfect. Nice. And now we will do the same, but with the eyes and the, and the mouth. Log alpha, we'll take these darker colors, we will make the sense that there is some light inside this pumpkin. Maybe a candle or something like this. And then we will also, using this color, just put the inner part of the pumpkin using, again, the shapes. right here like this we will paint inside everything and then the nose and also the mouth big mouth like this perfect now we will go and do a new drawing layer and in this drawing layer we will start doing the hat I will take advantage of the shape here and a purple color. I will put it right here and then I will stamp and drag the color. Then I will use this round shape just to mark where I want the um, hat to come just to have some guidelines. I want it com coming here. And then I finish the shape with the pencil. Do the hat with the shape you want. Okay. I want it to be a bit pointy here and go like this and I will maybe finish it like this and drag the color in and now of course let's try to make the lines more clear yeah. if you need to erase any part now is the time to make a oops, undo to make a clear silhouette and then we keep painting the head like this the, the hat like this perfect 
Okay, I would love this part to be like more like this. Okay. And then I will make the this part of the like this. Then we drag the color in and we finish the shapes. Maybe a bit bigger like this. I'm liking it a lot. Like this. Perfect. And now we will create a new drawing layer on top and using again these basic shapes always very very easy we will do the belt of this so like this here and here and then we will erase the parts that are not in correct places and then we will finish it like this and track the coloring as always perfect then on top we'll do a new drawing layer we will use this basic form with the rounded edges to do this part of the belt and I will take this and I will use this other brush because it's bigger and it's already the shape I wanted to do the belt nice and again using the alpha lock the lock alpha sorry we will start adding some lights and shadows to this um, hat like this to make it the volumes more real and then I want a darker shadow just here like this just a bit not too much perfect and then I will take advantage of the more pinkish color to the to the lights and I will lower the opacity a bit because I don't want the light to be very hard just a bit a touch of the light we will do the same for the belt log alpha and I will use big opacity the top opacity to do the shadows right here same with the last part of the belt log alpha and then i will use a darker tone to make some shadows and a lighter tone to make the lights like this perfect I will go again to the hat to try to make this silhouette just more exact as I would not like in this. Yeah, like this. Perfect. Nice. So now we will go to the background. We go to the last layer, add a drawing layer. Here on the bottom, we will take this color and using the spray, I will do, sorry, the spray and a big, yeah, the big size will kind of do the background like this. Nice. And then after that, we will create a new drawing layer and we will do some leaves 
for decorating our our set like this and like this it doesn't have to look perfect just this shape right here they will give a greenish tone around that will make the pumpkin more interesting perfect now that we have it we will use this tool which is the the um, the scissors that will be able to we will be able to place the leaves where we want and to duplicate them you can put um you can use this uh, tool to make more leaves around And we'll do a third leaf, a smaller, this one, right here. Perfect. And then we switch off the scissors and we will do some shapes around. Kind of um, this. Yes, magical. Perfect. I want to move this shape, so with the scissor, I will select it and maybe move it here. Perfect. Now I will create a new layer on top and using a darker tone, I will draw the stems of these leaves don't go too complicated just some details like this because later on with the shadows I will make them more subtle okay and now again Taking advantage of the log alpha, we select this greenish color right here and we put the spray. And as you can see, they don't look so hard, these lines. They are more subtle. And then finally, we'll do alpha log, log alpha in this layer here and we'll put darker tones around and like this and lighter tones just to make the lights and shadows of these shapes there you have it the spookiest jack-o-lantern for this halloween season thank you so much for watching we will see you again in our next tutorial until then, stay creative!